Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program without with astronomy. I'm going to start a new project and I think I want to begin to build some of the materials, some of the ships and crafts from Elite Dangerous in Kerbal. And I want to start with the SRV because it proposed some unique challenges that I think could be fun to try and solve. The goal for today is to begin to do some experiments. More specifically, I want to try and experiment with the thrusters inside the wheel hops. I'm not sure if we if we can do it or if we can how we're going to do it, but I think we're just going to give it a go. And I just want to run some uh, some small tests here. We're just going to put down a uh, a small rover mat here and then experiment with various wheels and see what looks the most like the stuff we've seen lead. I think these are probably the closest we're going to get. That does mean it's going to be a pretty pretty significantly sized SRV. I mean, if you look at this, the wheels on the SRV is about the same height as the seat, a little shorter than the seat. So if I were to put in a seat here, the wheels are a little oversized, I think. Okay, so I guess what we're looking for is something with a large vectoring angle. Um, I think at least these ones I know have a large gimbal. You can see at the bottom there on the info, uh, on the right hand side of the info panel here, it's this vectoring angle, 10 and a half degrees. Look at these, those 22 degrees of vectoring. So if we put one on there and then just twist that and we kind of try to hide it inside the wheel hop. So we'll make that point outwards. It doesn't look exactly like we have in, uh, in Elite, but it will have to do. And then just like hide that like that. It does kind of stick out on the other side, but... Uh, <laughs> Okay, let's just let's just try to run with this and see what happens if we actually send this out. <laughs> oh, look at that. Even though the wheels are turning, the thrusters are not. This is perfect. They're probably sticking out a little bit too much. We can probably have we have a little bit of room where we can clip them in a little bit further. And it doesn't look terrible. It just looks like it's part of the construction of the wheel now that it has this like protective guard to kind of protect some of the suspension. I guess we should try and put some fuel tanks on this as well. Ta-da! <laughs> yeah, there's no way in hell this thing is not going to be unstable. Obviously, we could just start them, but that's going to do nothing. But problem is, if we... So, you see, they can't be used for control, it seems. I just see if I can make them turn downwards. Yeah, okay. So we can make them turn, but problem is they would have to be, I guess, for them to make sense, I guess they would have to be, uh, to count as RCS. I don't think we can set these to work as RCS thrusters. Ooh. So I just, I was just looking under RCS. There is these. I mean, if that is not pretty damn close they're a little undersized but we might just scale down the wheels to something slightly smaller question is are these does these do gimbling i don't think they do oh that's a little too big i think okay so i can make these work just a standard rcs but they do not have gimbling so i could make them like go to one side or the other but since they are pointing straight outwards, they're not going to be helping me take off. So I think the only thing I could do would be to use something like this, which technically is RCS thrusters, and then angle them at like a 45 degree angle like that. Even though they won't really have any function because of the low thrust of them compared to the mass of the vehicle. Maybe a little bit of control, but... I don't think we're going to see see these be used to actually lift off. We'll have to find some other way to make this thing fly. But at least for the visual effects, it's there. I think the visual is, is pretty good. I'll try with some other wheels just to see how that what that looks like. But overall, I'm liking the... Uh, I'm liking this. Okay, here we are. Let's start by just tilting these downwards a bit. Just like so. 
Okay. Um, and let's try to get the bigger wheels to put those on. So first, we're going to put on a wheel here. And we're going to make that symmetrical. Like so. We'll do fine-tuning of the positioning later. The other one is going to go on there. Yes. Okay, so first of all, we need to turn these wheels in the right direction. That looks about right to me. Are we just, for good measures, going to turn these so these are somewhat more horizontal? And now comes the positioning of the wheels. So I'm going to move this one forward, I think. And I want to have it further down to there. And this wheel here is also going to move forward so that it kind of lines up like that. And then I guess just as far in as we can possibly make it go without it looking too crappy. Let that clip into that a little bit. There we go. I don't know there's a lot of stuff missing and there should be an extra set of wheel and all that stuff, but that's not what we're testing right now. We're just going to take a general look. This is actually surprisingly stable, I say, and flip it. Great. <laughs> can we actually get this thing back on its... No, we can't. It's, it's, it's stuck. It's in this position forever now. Okay. Anyway, I think this is the way to go when it comes to front wheels. Okay, so here's a wild idea I just had. I think we're going to keep using this body as kind of the, the, the floor in the cockpit. Now, the natural choice would be to just put a seat on there. But it looks, first of all, nothing like the seat in the actual game. And it's kind of undersized. So the alternative would be to just build a seat. Maybe even build it around something like this. So that you could actually sit in the seat. <laughs> there we go. What do you think? That actually looks pretty good, I think, for a commander seat. Sure, it doesn't have the joystick. We can, if there was something small enough, we could potentially put something in there. But now we just have to kind of try to see if we can use the slight curve it does have down here to build that circular frame around it. I think the smallest thing we have are these tiny, tiny structure segments here. I mean, even the normal sized one is way too big, as you can see. I think that is actually what we'll have to work with here. Okay, lots and lots of small sections here. So now we just need to begin to slowly curl this into position. You know what? This is not this is not terrible. Then just give it a little bit of room down here before we begin to turn up towards the back. There we go. So I just added some struts across the top here. They are both going to serve as the top grill of uh, of the SRV. They're going to serve as structural support. And then I added this strut out here. It's supposed to be there for decoration purposes, but actually it's going to hold the two halves of this circle together. So that is not going to come apart. Then we just need some quick lights at the top, I think. <laughs> okay, it's a little oversized maybe, but it will have to do. Next, we're just going to build a similar grid out here towards the front and then put some more, um, some more lights. I do believe it has lights at the front as well, right? Yes, it does have two small lights just above the just above the grill towards the front. That grill is quite far down, obviously not too obscure. So we're probably going to put it all the way down here, and then just the lights somewhere in this area here. So let me get back to the struts and let's go again. And there we have it. I think that is the start of the cockpit on our SRV. I try to hide the or move the lamps a little bit into the structure to kind of make them not seem as overpowering as they otherwise would. So far, I'm pretty happy with it. And I'm definitely going to continue this little project. Next time, we're going to begin to, I think, get that front fork out with the, with the front wheels. We're going to begin the rear uh, box section that we're going to have up here with the rear wheels. And then there's a the whole another task of figuring out what are we going to do with that engine or those two engines on either side? I did they should be able to swivel around. I don't know, but uh, we'll figure that out in a future episode. I hope you'll join me for that. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, I'll see you guys in space.